or the lat pull downs. Set the pad so that you can position your legs tightly below to ensure good stability and if you are too short to firmly place your feet on the ground, feel free to use a few small plates to make your setup more tight. Grab the handles with the tight grip that feels good for you and get yourself seated. Pull all the way down to your chest and squeeze your shoulders together to get a really good contraction of your back muscles. Then slowly control the weights all the way up and feel your back stretching. Open up your chest as you pull down because that will allow your elbows to travel further behind and engage your back better. Another smart thing to do is to pose for a second at the top of the movement and feel those lats stretching or at least slow down as you approach the top of the rep. You can also notice how I'm leaning my torso back and forth as I do this. It helps me feel my back much better. Feel free to try it out yourself and see if it works for you as well. If not, it's 100% alright to just sit upright and keep your body still as you pull. Experiment with both and see what works the best for you. You can also experiment with different grips and attachments to find the one that feels right for you. You have all these different types of attachments. You can grab the bar with a bit closer or wider grip. You can use pronated or supinated grip. All of these are fine, just gonna train your back from slightly different angles. Common mistakes people make are shortening the range of motion, especially by not going all the way up to the full stretch. You can set a standard for yourself to touch your chest and to reach a full lockout on every single rep. Another mistake is not having a good control over the weights, especially on the way up, or swinging your torso to use the momentum. Just slow it down, take it easy, focus on the proper technique and try to feel your back muscles working. Finally, people tend to pull mainly with their arms instead of their back. To fix that, initiate the movement by pulling your shoulders back and then imagine pulling the weights by driving the elbows down and in instead of just leading with your hands there's a bunch of different machines you can use i really like these types of machines all the same rules will still apply just load the machine with the appropriate weights tighten your legs below the pad head up chest up pull back as far as you can Squeeze your shoulders together and control the movement on the way back. So experiment with these different variations, find the one that you enjoy doing and let's get some huge back gains.